hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video and welcome to our channel so today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic and a very important topic so today we are going to talk about why learning programming or coding especially uh, different languages like python is incredibly important for civil engineers and professionals in the construction industry so today our topic is going to be the power of coding in construction industry so as a civil engineer myself i can't stress enough how coding has re revolutionized the way we work in this field so let's uh, live into the reasons why it's so crucial to learn the uh, different kind of programming languages and coding so before going into the reasons and discussions let me give a uh, brief about what we are going to actually discuss today so in today's topic we are going to discuss about the the first thing we were, we will look into is that the power of coding in the construction industry will give us sort of you know innovative design so for innovative design and modeling we need to learn coding and second thing is that for like in construction industry there are a lot of tasks which are which are going to be repeat again and again right so so by using the coding or by learning the programming languages we can do or we can automate the repetitive tasks like automation automating the repetitive tasks right so another thing what we can do by learning the coding or programming language is that we usually dealt with lot of data in the construction industry right so by learning the programming uh, languages we can do the data analysis and this can be used for smart decision making smart decision making right and another thing is that for simulation and virtual reality reality we also need to learn the coding and programming languages what is that simulation and virtual reality vr and for empowering innovation too we need coding and to learn we need to learn the programming coding or programming languages so another important point is to empower innovation empowering of innovation so the digital future of the construction industry and uh, needs us to learn programming codings and programming languages to dealt with the uh, important issues or topics which i have discussed like simulation and uh, virtual reality innovation design and modeling and for empowering of innovation and for the data analysis for smart decision making and for automation automating the uh, repetitive tasks in the construction industry so for all these things we need to learn the programming languages so let's discuss all these five points which i have mentioned one by one the first thing is innovative design and 
modeling. So in the construction industry, we usually dealt with the designs and modelings, right? To make it innovative, we need to learn, we need to understand the programming languages, right? So by learning the programming languages, civil engineers can create and manipulate 3D models of the projects. As I, you can see in these pictures, the, the picture is showing two aspects of uh, a model. So by learning the programming languages, we as a civil engineer can create and manipulate these 3D models okay, of any project. And this not only helps to visualize the design, to visualize the design, but also enables us to spot potential issues if there is any sort of issue somewhere in the uh, project or in the model we can sort it out right and we can spot that potential issue issue and optimize our plans before construction even begins so what happens it saves our it will save our time and money so this is what we want in any project right the most important thing is we need to we want to save time and money so by learning these programming languages this will help us to do the designing and modeling in innovative ways so by doing these uh, designs in innovative way we can save a lot of time and money by making 3d models right so the next topic uh, thing which i discussed was automating the repetitive task as you can see in this image in these two images that like in the first image a robot is uh, binding up the steel bars right and this is a repetitive task task if we have uh, these robots then they can if we can code them then they can easily do these uh, repetitive tasks by themselves and another uh, the second picture is showing that a robot is laying the bricks automatically this this is also a repetitive task but we just need to code this robot program this uh, robot and then it will repeat this task by itself so uh, automating repetitive tasks in construction we often encounter repetitive tasks like as i have uh, uh, you can see in this picture too like calculating dimensions or estimating materials is another example by using coding we can automate these processes and allowing us this allow us to focus on more complex and creative aspects of our project so what is the second thing we can do if we uh, learn the uh, programming coding we can do the automative repetitive tasks we can automate all the repetitive tasks Either it is on a construction site or, uh, or it is in office tasks like uh, as I have mentioned like if you are doing some sort of uh, estimations and there are if there are repetitive tasks you can do them you can automate them by doing the coding and for example uh, calculating dimensions too so these are some examples and the next thing which I mentioned was data analysis for smart decision making, right? So on any construction project, data is very important. If you can analyze the data, you can take the smart decisions, right? So to analyze this data, we need to learn programming languages. By using those programming and coding, you can do the data analysis of uh, the big data which you have gathered right so with coding skills we can process and analyze large uh, sets of data quickly this helps us in making the data driven decisions and then improving project efficiency and then minimizing the risk right if you can uh, do the proper decisions on time then do, obviously you can minimize the risks on your project from environmental impact assessments uh, to the project cost analysis coding plays a very significant role 
in this image you can also see that a uh, few of the advantages of the big data in construction industry are mentioned like the first one is the first advantage is data driven project management software actually promotes the collaboration and reduce construction time first thing is they reduce construction time right and second advantage mentioned is that uh, structural issues can be detected early with uh, uh, data supported with the BIM right like structural issues can be detected very early by using softwares or platforms like building information modeling uh, which are supported with the data and another uh, advantage you can consider is that the data collected from wearable sensors is used to improve work worker safety right like if you have mounted some sort of uh, sensors wearable sensors on the helmets of the workers then you can collect data through the, those sensors and this data can be used to improve the safety of the workers and yet another example is that accurate building predictions reduce construction waste and carbon dioxide emission so if you do the data analysis then you can obviously uh, predict the building's accuracy and that helps us to reduce the waste at the construction site and also the carbon dioxide emissions right and you can also see this image that it is also showing that the impact of data analysis on construction in the construction domain so the first is job site efficiency then second is identifying the risks and improved safety resource management enhanced uh, productivity so by doing the big data analysis you can achieve all these uh, milestones like job site efficiency identifying the risks improved safety resource management and enhance you can also enhance the productivity the next thing which i have mentioned in the start of the video is simulation and virtual reality so coding also empowers us to create virtual sim simulations an example is shown in the, these two pictures of our projects and then allowing us to this allows us to identify potential hazards and improve safety measures through virtual reality we are we can uh, even take the stakeholders on uh, immersive virtual tours of our projects giving them a realistic preview before the construction you can actually give a give your stakeholders or clients a virtual tour of your projects by using this technology vr virtual reality and giving them a realistic preview before the before even the your before even your project starts so for this too you need to learn you need to be expert in the uh, coding so you need to learn the programming languages the next and last thing which I uh, discussed was empowering the innov innovations, right? Like uh, drones, robots, sensors. So we need to uh, empower the innovations. If you learn the coding and programming languages, you can easily empower your innovations. So as technology evolves, so does the construction industry. Whenever technology uh, evolves, our construction industry also evolves so actually the coding or programming languages enables civil engineers to explore innovative solutions such as smart buildings uh, sustainable infrastructure and integrated systems so with coding skills we can contribute to the industry's progress and embrace the future so these were few points uh, which can be achieved if we learn the programming or programming languages or coding so from this you can actually see the importance of 
or the power of the coding as technology evolves we need to learn we need to update ourselves update our skills so learning coding isn't just for computer programmers from this you can understand that that the coding is not just for computer programmers it's a game changer for civil engineers and construction industry as a whole so embracing technology and programming languages actually opens up a world of possibilities and making our work more efficient creative and sustainable so if you are a civil engineer or aspiring to join the construction industry i highly encourage you to start learning coding you won't actually regret uh, regret uh, it so i actually advise everyone to learn coding so that's it for today so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and stay tuned for more exciting content on construction industry and civil engineering so thank you so much see you guys in the next video till then goodbye